Hey there, folks. Santee at the Arizona Ghost Rangers. Hey, Santee, you got a telegram. Oh, cool. Is it important? I don't know. I can't read Morse code. Can you? I only read English. Huh. Pretty good with hillbilly sometimes. Huh. huh. Ooh, Santee, got one for you. The Telegraph and the Old West. Cindy Clink. The 19th century was the era for a lot of technological advancements and new inventions. Train travel, electricity, mass production, and robots. No, that last one's not true. Sorry. Oh. Today we're going to talk about the telegraph. In the 1830s, Great Britain had an electromagnetic telegraph in the works that was being used for their railroad. About the same time, Samuel Morse, Leonard Gale, and Alfred Vail were developing a system using the same principles here in the United States. Hey, I just met you, and this is crazy. Here's my number. So call me. Maybe. Their efforts eventually produced a single circuit telegraph that worked by pushing the operator key down to complete the electric circuit of the battery. This action sent the electric signal across a wire to a receiver at the other end. So as long as you had the key, the receiver, miles of wire, and a bunch of poles, you were in business. Morrison Vale developed a code that assigned a set of dots and dashes to each letter of the alphabet, which allowed for the transmission of messages across telegraph lines. On May 24, 1844, Morse in Washington, D.C. sent Vale in Baltimore the historic first message. What hath God wrought? This success quickly spread the technology across the continent. By 1861, Western Union had laid the first transcontinental telegraph line, making it also the first nationwide telegraph company. In the Old West, telegraph was an integral method of communication between towns and settlements, not just for the spreading of news, but for business transactions and general communication. This was really revolutionary and pretty convenient, like when my wife finally adopted smartphone technology. Native Americans and outlaws were known to cut the telegraph lines. Because of this, and weather, Western Union had crews that would frequently be repairing those lines. The lines were insulated with gutta percha, which we've mentioned before as being an early form of plastic. On April 21st, 1897, Butch Cassidy's gang robbed a payroll belonging to the Pleasant Valley Coal Company in Castlegate, Utah. The telegraph lines were cut by Cassidy's men to slow down the law dog communication between towns on the escape route. It worked, and apparently was very frustrating for the lawmen. Well, what's wrong? The line went dead, sir. In 1866, a telegraph line was laid across the Atlantic Ocean from America to Europe, revolutionizing how news was distributed. From this 1901 map, you can see how it progressed to other countries. By the turn of the century, communication technology was changed yet again with the widespread use of the telephone, and slowly the telegraph made an exit from the American West. Well, folks, that's it for another episode. As always, please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you on down the trail. Hey there, folks. Santee at the Arizona Ghost Riders here. Santee. Oh. Cut.